Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see about the click event and it's with a practical example. So just I am trying to take a form, simple form. Here I am showing the demo. And here if I try to add Leela and I want to have a cat means if I click on the save, so I want to get a message something like hi Leela, can I have your cat? So this is the thing which we want to do it using the event listeners. And the sample code here I have written is this one. So let's try to write it from first onwards. Okay. So we have understood the requirement. So let's try to write HTML. And here first we need to have the name. So let's take do. Here I can have label. So ID. Sorry not ID for this one. Name. So I want to write the name. And we can have an input element. Type is equal to text. And ID is equal to name. So this is the name and we can have another one div and label favorite animal or anything favorite animal and we'll be having an input not input this time we'll take the select box select and id is equal to animal and we'll have let's keep the three options option value dog and here i can have dog another one is cat another one is parrot so here also we need to change it to dog a cat and a parrot okay so at the final we can have a button so here i can have button id is equal to button we can also have a form we'll try to learn one by one so here we can have save or anything whichever the name if you want to see the output for this one the same output we will be able to see the same output now if i try to write something here and if i click on the save i need to uh, grasp the i need to catch these all the values whatever the user has selected and i need to show it at the bottom so for this one what i can do here i can have a div id div id is equal to sorry id is equal to message i want to show the message that's it so now html part is completed now it's time for us to do the scripting part so first in order to uh, grasp these details when we need to catch these details when the user clicks on this button save okay let's take this button value here i am having the script so let button is equal to document dot get element get element by id of button so i so i got the button element now we need to add the event listener so button dot add event listener of click event so here we need to have get details or something like this that callback function so let's we have function get details okay so i am trying to show you here so these are the get details so now when you want to get the details first we need to capture the name document dot get element by id of name and here we need to have let animal we need to get it document dot get element by id of animal okay so let's console the name and also the animal console dot log animal let's see the output here if you click here and if you try to select the uh, write the values what are the values click on save so we are getting the elements instead of getting the elements we need to get the value so i have told you the two ways of getting the values that is one way is uh, uh, using the get attribute of value and another one is using the dom method that is nothing but dot value and i also told you the difference between those two so get attribute of value gives you the default value whereas the dot value gives you the live value so whatever the changed value will be having so here i can use dot value instead of getting the element i can get dot value here also i will use dot value now let's see whether we can able to see the output or not if i click on here and i will write something and i click on save see now we are able to get the exact value whatever the value the user has selected we are able to get it now what i want to do here so now i need to take those values and i need to highlight it in the message so for this one first let's capture the message element document dot get element by id of message 
oh sorry message we got the element now message dot text content is equal to so what we can do here so i can write i so dollar name can i have your animal right so just just i am writing some framing some sentence so that's it now if you try to see the output so refresh it and click here leela and i can have cat or something like this click hi leela can i have your cat see how easy we can use this click event and uh, on the forms and we can get the values so this is how we can get the form details using the event listener click event listener so this is how we'll be doing hope you understood about this simple example so we'll, uh, going on we'll learn about more and more different types of events we are having key down event mouse or event these all things we'll learn it so i will try to explain you if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.